Okay, hello everyone. It's Foulplay here. Uh, coming in for the final round of this modern league. We are up against Death and Cat Mix. Um, <laughs> interesting name. I wonder if he's a Death and Taxes player. Uh, Alright, so we'll keep this hand. Uh, so, Mulder 6, keep this on the play. I'll probably just bottom the Spider Umbra here and be done with it. Ley line to protect my hand and windswept teeth go. Planes. So, yeah, looking like a death and taxes player. Alright. Uh, let's assume he doesn't have path because I don't think I'm beating that anyway. Oh, well, the second core spirit dancer is not bad. Uh, we'll shock this one in, in case he, like, Leet and Arbiter Ghost Quarters. Um, because we want to have access to our green mana as well, right? <sighs> Alright, turn to Aetherval. Not the best Aetherval. Um, I guess they drew that this turn. Maybe they've got a path up for the Core Spirit Dancer. If I see land here, I'm pretty happy. Alright, so... Path, that's fine. We do have a second Spirit Dancer in hand. I don't think that's right. I think he wants to do it in response to an aura, by the way. Um, we brick on land, but we do have pretty good aura suite going in our hand. <coughs> I would definitely feel safer going in on a uh, Bogle, though, instead of a Core Spirit Dancer, but, you know, might not necessarily get that chance. Alright, let's... Let's go Sentinel's Eyes plus Rancor. Uh, both of which we effectively get back if they do something to our Core Spirit Dancer. And then we can still get a nice little attack happening and get a couple of draws. Great! Ethereal Armor looks really good to me. So Trample, Vigilance, 7 Power. Let's see what our opponent can do uh, to combat this now. Oh, it looks like they're just fogging one point of damage. Protection from green? Uh, our opponent just punted. His Thali is dead. He chose the wrong color. Wow, that's huge. That is huge. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Very interesting. <laughs> Very, very interesting. Alright, we might actually just have to win off that via trample damage here. Unless he's got path. Oh, we got a we got a bogle as well. Oh, sorry, a scout as well. Um Well let's go for the win. Assume they don't have it. So ethereal armor should be enough damage to just trample over the top and win. So they can give it protection, um, or give a different creature protection from white or something here. But it's just two less points um, that they can block with. Why are they doing that, really? Protection from white. Now... Okay, so it stops the damage. Never mind. Okay, that makes more sense. I thought, yeah, it would stop the damage from the green spell. But yeah, of course, the creature's white. The creature's the one dealing the damage. Uh, we do block two points of damage though doing that that way lead and arbiter comes on down all right if our opponent has not got path to exile here we will just win yeah it doesn't really matter what order we have here i don't think oh they can keep their creatures block six damage we'll deal 12 okay so we haven't we haven't won quite yet pardon me Next turn, we have a nice win. I guess I should have just played the Hyena Umbra and attacked. 
No, it would have been... Well, we would have got one more point of damage, actually. Hey, these auras look good. <laughs> Going on, Scout. Let's go. And a Daybreak. That also seems good. I don't see any reason... Uh, actually, I guess we don't really need the life gain. We'd prefer to get a trample or flying effect on the scout. Uh, so we'll go the extra draw effect there. And uh, I guess we can go in on Dried Arbor and attack with that as well. And then, you know, if we survive until next turn, uh, we'll be in a really good spot. Flicker Wisp, Flicker Wisp the core, yep. Jump block a couple of creatures, and then we can go like double Rancor and attack for the win next turn. We even get the draw triggers next turn as well, so Flicker Wisp is much better for us than Path there. Um, okay, cool. So we get a win, t game one against Death and Taxes. That's awesome. Uh, so we want to be taking out our Ley Lines, bringing in our Paths, uh, bringing in our Torpor Orbs. They're very good here. Um, and Suppression Field is very good as well. Um, because it's mono white, they're going to have. Uh, Eldrazi Displacer, um, Restoration Angel, um, obviously you saw the Ether Vial and the Flicker Wisp there, but they can just Flicker Wisp the, or Eldrazi Displacer, the Flicker Wisp. Um, anything else we want? Rest in Peace? No. Gadok Teague? No. Force Path? No. Alright, so here we're probably just going to go down on Core Spirit Dancers because it's a very vulnerable creature into our opponent. Mm, I don't like this hand. I like this hand. <laughs> Ditch suppression field. Oh, hopefully we don't get blessed alliance or anything like that. That would be quite unfortunate. Hopefully we don't miss out on land drop and just lose to a Thalia as well. I'd say if we get to play double aura, we're probably in a pretty decent spot in this game. Okay. Uh, Get in for two points of damage, uh, and our opponent then can ghost quarter us, and we're in a bad spot from there. Maybe we draw Raids of Edge thicker, and then just get a four-four vigilance guy on the board. Um, but yeah, we're getting ghost quartered here. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Hopefully, no Thalia would be the main thing. Come on, land. Alright, well, uh, that sucks. I hate bear things. Had all these other games where uh, I just get land flooded in this game, I'm just land screwed. Joke's on them if they play another Ghost Quarter though, because they can't Ghost Quarter what we don't have, so maximum value for us. Really? Uh, 
so flicker wisp bounce the ethereal armor yeah i don't want to blop into that i do not want to block into that all right gg all right do we want to change anything we've already got our suppression fields in I think we just run the same list back. Look for a hand where we don't land screw ourselves, hopefully. Alright, great, keep. I mean, we're a little aura light and creature heavy, but, like, honestly, I'm not throwing this away. Actually, uh,. My opponent might be playing Stoneforge Mystic as well. Seems they're mono white, so maybe I should have brought in some Force of Vigors. Alright, so definitely no Savage Swipe here for our hero. So Giver of Runes is just going to be a pain in the butt now instead. Spell sky? Can you not? <sighs> All right. Oh, this is cool. Um, if I attack and my opponent blocks with spell sky and gives it protection from green, I can resolve a green aura on my creature. That's pretty interesting. That is pretty interesting. Farley, yeah, alright, whatever. Alright, let's pass and wait for a better opportunity. Right. Okay, so what do we do here? Savage swipe target giver of runes. Pay an extra one. Yes, sir. So. I guess they redirect that to spell skite though. And give it pro green. Change the target of the spell. Okay. Yeah. Give it pro green. Uh, I guess. Maybe I should have waited until I had double removal spell in hand and could cast both. Yeah, I don't think I thought that out right. Okay. Okay. Well. Yeah, that was a wasted spell. I might want to hold up mana for if they play Leon Arbiter as well. Um, Alright, well, we just filled my Temple Garden there. It's okay, we've got one more land left, but the Ghost Quarter next might actually get us. Um, well, we don't have another basic, so now we're off green. Stoneforge Mystic, there it is. There it is, guys. Uh, we are officially boned. Yeah, I didn't board right. Alright, let's attack with my Glade Cover Scout and see if they do something with the Giver of Runes. And then hopefully they block with Spell Sky and give Spell Sky Pro Green. And then I can resolve White Auras on Core Spirit Dancer or Slippery Bogle. Interesting. One, four, five, six, seven power on board. We're getting Field of Rune next turn. And then we're going to be land screwed from that point. 
that if I play my aura, I'm just playing it into a spell sky, so I can't do that. Yikes, and we just don't get land now. Okay. So, four land destroy effects. And, uh... We go cry crying home to mum. Um... Oh, we just lose. Um, I, I can't do anything from this point. If my opponent overcommitted into a Stoneforge Mystic and I had to brought in Force of Vigor like I should have, um, I could get the Batiscale and the Spell Sky at the same point in time, but only be able to protect the Spell Sky. Um, they're equipping that onto Flicker Wisp. All right. Well, I mean, yeah, Spell Skyt is just an absolute nuisance, isn't it? Um, I wasted Savage Swipe. I don't think it was going to matter. Um, yeah, I don't think it was going to matter. Just, uh, I'm not sure if I could play that any different other than just sideboarding better, so... Obviously, I took Leyline out and some Core Spirit Dancers out. Maybe I take out all the Core Spirit Dancers there. And then Suppression Field is good. Torpor Orb is very good. Force of Vigor is good. And Path is good. So then you'd be looking at... I need to remove two more cards, so maybe Misty Rainforest, with how heavy they were on land destruction, removing lands might not be the smartest thing. Maybe if anything, remove Dried Arbor, um, although fetch lands are a nombo with the suppression fields I'm boarding it in. I guess Grispoon was a little bit weak, so we could trim on one there. And then, yeah, just Dried Armor or Misty Rainforest, I suppose. Probably don't like the idea of Dried Armor, so maybe your boarding should have looked like that instead. Or maybe you only bring in two Force of Vigors, because we, was, we'd played two games and we hadn't seen Stone Forge yet, so... You could leave your land base undisrupted and go like that. Um, yeah, um, not much to say. Kind of, kind of rough way to end the league. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty, pretty happy with the deck. I'm not super sold on Savage Swipe yet. Um, I kind of think going down to three core spirit dances might be correct. Um, when you've got Leyline in your main deck um, to protect your scout and things like that and then you just want like more value in your auras so maybe I'll just try removing these Savage Swipes all together and then just going hard on my aura base and just maybe a couple of Alder Glitters or something along that line um, Sideboard wise there's not really much of a reason to change anything at the moment maybe I want to tweak some numbers or just adjust it in some description of way or another, but, um, yeah, I think there's savage swipes I need to go for something. Um, anyway, I'm going to end the recording there, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. Let me know what you think savage swipe should be instead. Um, and, uh, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. Uh, for daily Bogles content, ring the bell for notifications, and thank you all, we'll see you next time.